atoms, atomic masses and moles, 1, 1 1.1 atoms. The first chemist to use the name atom for the smallest particle particle of an element was John Dalton, 1766 to 1844. John Dalton, 1766 to 1844, the first chemist to use the name atom for the smallest particle of an element. Dalton used the idea of atoms to explain how elements could react together to form molecules, which he called compound atoms. Don't confuse the terms atom and molecule. An atom is the smallest part of an element which can never exist, whereas a molecule is the smallest part of an element or a compound which can exist alone under ordinary circumstances. Thus, chlorine gas consists of molecules of chloride under ordinary conditions but at very high temperatures. These molecules will split up to form chlorine atoms. Chlorine. Chlorine. Name an element other than chlorine whose molecules consist of two atoms under normal circumstances. Carbon. Solid carbon and gaseous carbon. Name an element whose molecules consist of one atom under normal normal conditions. Hydrogen oxide, hydrogen dioxide, the hydrogen oxide. It is possible to have an atom of an of a compound oxygen. Most atoms have a radius of about 10 power 10 minus 10 meters and 10 moles, and 0 0.1 nanomoles. At one time, the unit used in measuring atomic distances was the angstrom. Eins 1a is equal to 10 minus 10 moles is equal to 0 0.1 nanomoles. Nowadays, the unit most frequently chosen in the nanometer is one one nanometer is equivalent to ten angstrom units. Atoms, of course, are too small to be seen to be seen even with the most powerful light microscope. However, scientists have discovered that it is possible to pick a single atom with certain elements. In 1958, scientists in the USSR reported that they could pick out atoms of barium, which have a diameter of about 0.4 nanometers using an electron microscope with a magnification of 2 million. In 1967, Japanese scientists provided evidence of the identification of particles as small as 0.1 nanometers. 1.2 Comparing the masses of atoms. Atoms are too small to be weighed. However, Dalton has suggested early in the 19th century that it should be possible to compare the masses of atoms in though, even though the atoms themselves could not be weighed. During the 19th century, various methods were devised for obtaining approximate values for the relative masses of different atoms. It was not until Aston invented the mass spectrometer in 1919 that a chemist had a reliable and accurate method of comparing the relative masses of atoms. At one time, the relative masses of atoms were known as atomic weights. But nowadays, we refer to them as relative atomic masses. The basic idea of a mass spectrometer can be demonstrated using the apparatus in figure 1.1. Wooden balls of a different size but with identical iron cores roll down the sloping lane. At the bottom of the slope, a powerful magnet attracts the iron cores and the moving balls are reflected. Does the magnet attract each ball the same? The basic idea of a mass spectrometer can be demonstrated using the apparatus in figure 1.1. Wooden balls of a different size but with different iron cores roll down a sloping lane. At the bottom of the slope, a magnet attracts the iron cores and the moving balls are deflected. Wooden balls of a different size, that means of a different mass size. Not a different uh, size, uh, mass. Volume size means a different mass size. Does the magnet attract each ball the same? No. Why each size of the ball will be deflected the most? And why? The ball with the biggest mass, the, with the smallest mass will be deflected most. Why? Because it has the, the, the highest momentum. It has the, it has the smallest mass and the highest momentum. It means it has the, high, the highest 
possibility for change of motion, not the, 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 not the change of the, the speed of the change of motion in a different direction using the smaller mass by, by deflecting the smaller mass with a bigger mass, which is mass B, and that is the intersecting law of motion. As the balls have identif identical ion cores, they are all attracted equally by the magnet, but the smaller balls are lighter and therefore deflected the most. The balls consist in different compartments depending on the mass, and all balls of the same mass will collect in the same compartment. Using this simple apparatus, it is possible to separate the different sized balls according to the mass and define the relative numbers of each present. Collecting, collecting compartments, B, 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 B. as the balls have an identical ion cores, they are attracted equally by the magnet. They, they have identical ion cores. They have identical ion cores, and that means that only the only the only only the, only the surface was different, but the core was the same. And that means that uh, they are with the, 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 the magnet attract each ball the same. It attracts each ball the same because they have ion. Iron, 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 iron magnets. They have iron, iron, and they have magnetic, magnetic properties. The cause, and they are all attracted equally by the magnet. But the smaller balls are lighter and are therefore deflected by the, are deflected the most because of their smaller weight. Because they are lighter, because they have a smaller mass than the, than the masses executing the second law of motion. Does it? They deflect the most by the, by Newton's second law of motion. They deflect the most. The balls collect in different compartments depending on the mass, and all balls of the same mass will collect in the same compartment. The balls collect in different compartments depending on their mass, and all balls of the same mass will deflect will collect in the same compartment. Using the simple apparatus, it is possible to separate the different sized balls according to their mass and to find the relative numbers of each present. Collecting compartments, large powerful magnet, and sloping line. In a similar fashion, a real mass spectrometer separates ma atoms according to their masses, mass and shows the relative amounts of the different atoms present. As the balls have identical values, they are they're all attracted equally by the magnet because of their, their core values, their, their ion core values are magnetic, the identical magnetic ion core values. They, they have identical magnetic ion cores, identical magnetic ion cores, but different uh, uh, shell sizes, different shell sizes. So do the shell sizes de determine the attraction to the magnet? There is only one shell, the inner shell that is magnetic, and that's why it it it, it uh, differentiates it. It uh, actually um, interprets and uh, personifies the attraction of the iron core to the to the iron magnet because the magnet is normally iron. In a similar fashion, the real mass spectrometer separates atoms according to the mass and shows the relative atom amount of the different atoms present before the atoms can be deflected and separated by a magnet and or an electric field. They must be converted to their positive joint ions. Figure 1.2 shows shows a simple mass spectrometer. There are five main stages. A diagram of the mass spectrometer very vaporized sample. An electron gun, a recorder, an amplifier, an ion detector, vacuum pump, a light particles, particular vitamin, heavy particles, magnetic field, and accelerating electric field, ionization chamber, that's a vaporized chamber. It is uh, um, an amplifier kind of music. The sample of element is vaporized. Positive ions are obtained from the vapor. The positive ions are accelerated. The, the sample of, an ele of element is vaporized. One, two, the positive ions are obtained from vapor. Uh, three, the positive ions are accelerated by an electric field. And four, the positive ions are deflected by a magnetic field. And four, the five ions are detected and record, and the record is made. The ions are detected and the record is made. The, uh, the, 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 the uh, the electromagnetic ions are detected and are recorded with the electric, uh, the electric ions are recorded and are recorded with the magnetic ions are recorded and are recorded with uh, the ele electromagnetic ions are recorded and are recorded with a stream of the vaporized element element enters the ionization chamber. Gases, liquids, and volatile solids can be injected directly into the instrument just before the ionization chamber. Less volatile solids must be preheat, preheated and vaporized. Positive ions are formed by bombarding the neutral atoms in the vapor with a stream of high energy electrons. One or more occasionally 
one or occasion in which your electrons can be knocked out of the atoms leaving positive ions. Thus, for an atom X, we have A high E large electron plus X atom into X positive ion plus E electron knocked out of X plus E high E large electron retreated. Or occasionally E minus plus X is uh, reduced to X squared plus uh, plus E uh, E minus plus E minus over to electron knocked out of X plus E minus. This positive ion starts as x plus and x squared plus now pass through holes in parallel places to which an electric field is applied. The electric field accelerates the ions which then enter the magnetic field where they are deflected according to the mass and to the charge. For one particular size of the accelerating electric field and the deflecting magnetic field, only those of ions of one particular mass charge ratio will hit the ion detector at the end of the apparatus. Ions of smaller mass charge ratio will be deflected too much. Ions of greater mass charge or overcharge ratio will be reflected too little. The ion detector is usually linked through an amplifier to a recorder. As the strength of the magnetic field is slowly increased, ions of increasing mass will be detected and a mass spectrum similar to that shown in figure 1.3 is traced out by the recorder. The mass of a particular ion can be calculated from the values of the magnetic and electric fields and the relative heights of the peaks in the mass spectrum give a measure of the relative proportions of the different ions present. In practice, a reference peak using a a no substance is, is first obtained on the mass spectrum and the relative masses of other particles can be obtained by comparison with this. Look closely at figure 1.3, a mass spectrum is for natural or current magnetism. Detect or detect a current uh, approximately relative abundance. A, a, a diagram of a mass spectrometer and a mass spectrometer of the natural or current organism. How many different ions are detected in the mass spectrum of the natural organism? What are the relative masses of these different ions? What are the, what are the different, what are the relative proportions of these different ions? The interpretation of the mass spectrometer traces and the calculation of the relative atomic mass is taken up in sections 4.5 and 2.44.